Hi guys and welcome uh, not to another unboxing and overview because uh, that's not what this video is about. Uh, this video is about my decision and my opinion regarding this CPU which is the 4770K and the, the other option that I pondered buying which was the 4930K Ivy Bridge E with 6 cores 12 threads. Uh, so if you're expecting for benchmarkings and comparison between this CPU and the 4930K uh, I apologize but you should um, go and search for another video because this one will not be it this will, will be uh, about my opinion and my decision getting this one as a video editor, as a motion graphics designer um, and that's what I'll be talking about th in this video and I would like to share with you guys this uh, and also, if possible, hear some opinions, um, whether, hey Roberto, you're totally off, you're totally wrong, you should have gone this way, you should have gone that way. Um, I will hear all or read all the opinions that you have for me. So, let's begin it. I was working until now with the first generation i7 CPU, the 960, i7 960 on socket 1366, which lasted me uh, around 4 euros. Uh, for years, sorry, <laughs> not years, it was good, <laughs> it cost four years, but no, four years uh, working and it worked great and it's still working, but I had the proposition to sell it and I sold it and this is how it is, uh, I was thinking about upgrading and um, well, just sold it and it went <laughs> and that's it, so uh, I had to make a decision on which CPU to get and my first choice was the 4930K uh, which is a CPU that in Portugal costs around 600 euros uh, and the budget was not a problem um, to be honest it was not a problem uh, I could have could have gone with with that um, with that CPU uh, so we are talking about uh, 600 euros for the CPU the 4930K Ivy Bridge E uh, and motherboard I would have gone with the Asus P9X79 uh, which is around 350 so we are talking about 950 for motherboard and CPU so the investment would be uh, bigger than this one I'll give you the numbers of this one as well uh, just for comparison um, but what made me go back was uh, the rumors that are all over the web um, that uh, Intel will release in the end of 2014 the new Aswell E um, Extreme Edition with six cores and eight cores CPUs. So I'm very curious to see um, how that CPUs are coming out, especially the eight core. Um, and also on these rumors they say that the platform or the socket 2011 will be discontinued so investing in a socket that uh, we already more or less know that in the end of this year and this video is, is being recorded in January 2014 um, it's a risk uh, and it's a big risk investing 950 euros in CPU and motherboard which will be very difficult to sell in uh, my area uh, as this one will be much easier. So my decision was um, I'm gonna get the 4770K which will be an upgrade from what I had. I was working with the as I said i7-960 which was a good processor and back at the time four years ago it was pff, excellent CPU. Uh, only the 980X that came out uh, later on uh, which was six cores and 12 threads uh, surpassed that but hey for my uh, work I was happy with it but four years later this one um, is better than the one that I had so I'm upgrading uh, for this 4770k and I will be testing in especially after effects uh, how this will work compared to the the other one that I had but my thought is I'm gonna purchase this one and in one year when the Aswell E comes out what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a decision whether I'm going to keep this one or if I'm going to change the platform. So this one I had an investment of 300 euros on the CPU and 200 euros on the motherboard. The motherboard is the Z87 Expert. I already posted the link uh, 
well, I posted the video, but I'll put the link uh, below so you can have an overview. So I have 500 euros invested in CPU and motherboard um, compared to the 950 that I would invest in the socket 2011. And this one I can afford to lose 100, 150 euros maybe in, in one year, even 200 euros, but will be easy to sell. As the socket 2011, it will not be easy to sell. So this one, I think it will be the CPU uh, that will be with me um, the less time. On the other hand, if Aswell E comes with prices that are uh, crazy, and I think it's not worth it, the bang for your buck, uh, I think I will keep this one. But in the meantime, I've got option. I'm not going to a platform that um, and I may be totally wrong but as I said in the beginning of the video this is my opinion I would like to share with you uh, so my, th my thought is that 2011 socket will be discontinued and um, as well E will come and will stick maybe with with the same socket for three four generations which has happened with the 2011 socket and hey guys I think this was um, the best option that I could and reminding that we are in January 2014 uh, it's not a great moment for uh, <coughs> deciding this I could have waited one more year with my old CPU uh, but I didn't want it I had a good business to uh, to sell my old CPU and pff, there it went and now I have this one and let's see what it's capable of in After Effects I will sure after I have my old rig uh, together I will sure share with you um, some comparisons between the first generation and the fourth generation uh, CPUs. Okay, so guys, please uh, drop a comment and say, Roberto, you're wrong, you're right, and <laughs> so, so we can have a, a, um, a great discussion. Uh, please, no criticism, just hey, no. Make your point of view and try to explain whether if I'm right, whether if I'm wrong. If you're in the same situation as me, uh, at least think about it. You can go the other way, 4930, which is a great CPU. It can last for three, four, five, six, seven years, we don't know. Um, but I like to keep my options open and uh, that's why I chose this CPU. So, and uh, after all this, let's make a quick unboxing because there's not much to see on a CPU unboxing. Uh, so this guy here features the Intel HD 4600 which I already tested on a i3 CPU. Um, a rig that I built for my kid for his gaming uh, needs which is low demanding games. You can see the video just browse through my videos and we'll see a low budget uh, PC build. Uh, I'm curious to see if the performance of this uh, integrated graphics, the iGPU, will be the same on i7 that on the i3. Theoretically, it should be the same, but just testing, installing one or two games that I installed on this uh, PC to see how, um, how it performs. Anyway, I will not be using, on my rig, I will not be using the iGPU. I will make some tests, I will see how it works with triple monitor display which the motherboard that I have supports it and the CPU supports it as well so I'll be making some tests and sharing with you but uh, I will be using the uh, GeForce uh, GTX 760 which already ordered it and uh, it's on mail so maybe tomorrow I will have it here I will make the, uh, the video about it, the unboxing and overview of that um, of that thing, but that's another. So let's open it up and what we have is a cooler and a installation installation instructions, three year limited warranty and Intel inside logo label. That's what's inside the box. And of course the most important part which is the CPU itself. I'm not going to take it out of this um, plastic only when I only when I'm ready to, to put all my rig together and once it's ready I will share with you guys here 
just so you can see how it is and then I will have to make some tests about especially about noise and that I would like to share with you uh, so cooler um, what I see difference between the the, uh, the old coolers the stock coolers I will not be using this uh, but one of the difference that I see is much thinner uh, than the old ones the older ones were much thicker than this but this will be inside of this box in my drawer I will be using this um, cooler the sorry Hyper Evo uh, 212 um, CPU from Cooler Master and I will be testing um, how much I can overclock with this uh, CPU cooler uh, I'm not expecting much but what I what I want is a good performance and a silent balance on my system so and I don't want to go water cooling at least for now I don't see the need for that um, so this is what I'll be using for uh, cooling my uh, my CPU and I will share with you guys once I have everything ready uh, the noise levels of this um, and I will share with you if this is a good overclocking guy or <laughs> if I was unlucky and I got a CPU that cannot be uh, much overclocked so let's see about that getting back to the the point of this video which was my decision and my uh, opinion about upgradability uh, just to finish it up um, I would ask you to leave your opinion and uh, if you're on my uh, position because uh, it's possible share with me your thoughts and uh, your decision if you went with 49 30k why did you go with it um, do you think it will be easier to sell uh, you're not thinking about selling you are thinking about buying now and stick with it for uh, I don't know four or five years I don't know uh, depends on your position so share with me uh, that thoughts I <laughs> try to be as honest as possible regarding my purchase uh, it's not a budget it's, it's a, a thinking in one year to have a, a, an option opened uh, because I could easily sell this, this CPU and motherboard uh, in one year uh, losing around 100 years something like that and that's 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 okay in one year you're losing um, it's like renting a CPU for 100 uh, euros one year it's cheap man. <laughs> that's not a problem uh, and I'm talking about CPU and motherboard uh, in fact that the, the RAM uh, that's gonna be a pain if they go with DDR4 on the Aswell E I just invested in 32 gigabytes of RAM uh, I'm up to invest up to 64 gigabytes of RAM but uh, if DDR4 comes um, that will ruin a bit of my plans I will have to sell the RAM as well and uh, ended up losing a bit more time, more uh, money on the other hand if I think that this CPU uh, can manage everything and uh, well I'm gonna stick with them for another three or four years I don't know or three or four generations usually is that so guys if you like the video it's a, it's a bit different but if you like the video thumbs up if you didn't like this video at all just thumbs down and I'm totally fine with it. I accept the, the, the critics. There's no no crystal heart here. It's just a matter of opinions and, and uh, sharing. I, I'm really appreciating this experience of sharing with my subscribers uh, this different kind of videos, not just After Effects templates and uh, Motion 5 templates and things like that, but sharing with you guys what I'm doing. Uh, really enjoying if you are enjoying good if you are not a hey, just drop me a comment Robert forget about this keep to what you know which is after effects and, and that's it so guys my name is Roberto George and thanks for watching and bye bye